Okay, now for the, <clears throat> for the second lesson, we're going to start actually miniature marks. Practice in and out of the crate quite a bit so that doesn't become the issue. You want a dog to, you want to be able to say kennel, dog jumps in the kennel, or you can use some other method. You can say place or you name it. The idea is to get them to go to a spot and to recognize it. Later on, we're going to take this kennel and get rid of it and put a, a white bucket, a lawn chair, some recognizable spot so the dog knows where to come back to. The whole idea is that I want to be able to throw marks for this dog and I want to be way out there and I want the dog to do the running and I want to be stationary or moving around just doing marks. I don't want to be the one running out there, throwing a mark, running back here and then sending the dog. I don't want to do that. I just want to have the dog do that and that way I can without much effort and without any helpers I can do meaningful marks and later on you're going to see how we can do a whole setup without any helpers. So <clears throat> that's the the idea of it. Now make sure you review this a lot so that getting into the kennel is not the not the issue. Kennel. Sit. Okay, so your first attempt at an actual mark is to just be real close, about like this. Sit. Just before you throw your mark, you say sit or blow a whistle. Or even if you're way out there, you might even whistle Nick because you don't want a dog getting out of that crate until you send it. So step one, kennel. Step two, sit. Then you can throw your mark. And this is just going to be a little baby mark just to get the idea across. Sit. Sit. Back. Good. Okay. Bring to me. Sit. Good girl. Kennel. Kennel. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Then I can go over here. I can make a new mark. Sit. 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 Back. Good. All right. All right. Sit. Very good. Very good girl. Okay. Heel. Heel. Sit. Kennel. Now I'm going to expand on this idea and make it progress to the point where I can be on a watermark, maybe even a down the shore mark, throw the mark myself, send the dog for it from the field and actually handle as a handler while the dog is doing that mark. So I can do a intricate marks without a helper from this position. So let's say this is step two in this progression is to teach a dog to go to the kennel and sit and then retrieve a short mark. As we go further the, the marks will be expanded, expanded until I'm way out in the field and the dog is going back and forth. You practice this, you will have your own training session you won't need anybody to help you. They won't have a bunch of dogs that have to be trained. And you'll be doing all this work and having fun with just you and the dog, which is, as you know, one of my favorite ideas. So that's lesson two. The next lesson is going to involve stretching this out a little bit. So that'll be lesson three, and that'll be coming up in a week or so, but I'm going to be practicing this for at least a week at this short distance, 10, 20 yards. Don't make the mistake of getting a dog in this position and then going way out in the field and trying to do it because it won't work. They'll get halfway back and turn around and look at you and you're just not going to get the results you want. So start here and then we'll expand it a little at a time.